Mike. Whoops. Hopefully we're live. Audio test. Audio test. Audio test. All right, we there we go. Okay. We got another minute and then um, we're going to jump right into the uh, we're going to jump right into this video, short video, right? It's going to be a short little live stream video. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to everybody about let me just get this ready. Um, all right, we'll give it a minute and then we'll get going. All right. Just wipe up the board for a second. Get us ready to go. Hopefully it looks good on that one, your end. Right. We'll get my, uh, water out of the way as well. We'll get my soda out of the way. Okay. All righty, let's get rolling. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Golden Triangle Academy, the school for real estate investors. My name is Vinny, and I'm here to help you with your real estate career. Now, this little quick impromptu video was uh, because I got a phone call. I got a phone call, and it was somebody that has been trying to invest in real estate um, and has just failed at everything. So I'm like, you know what? Why don't I do a video on why do people fail at real estate? What is the reason why people fail at real estate? So I'm just going to show you some quick little things that I've learned over just a little bit of time, why people fail at real estate, okay? Now, I'm going to give you a couple of examples of why people do succeed and, and why it's a little bit harder a little bit later, okay? So the first off, let me, I'm going to give you um, me and then a couple of my students and then some, some that have also failed. Okay, so if, we just take, if we're just going to take me as an example, all right? We'll just take me as an example. We'll start off with that. Um, I, right out of high school, I did not go to college. I jumped right into the mortgage business, Okay. And also, I got my real estate license. And I was interested in real estate investing since I was like, you know, 16, 17 years old while I was still in high school. So this is the path that I chose. I didn't choose to go to college. I chose to be, get involved in real estate somehow, some way. Now, I didn't know how I was going to do it. I had no idea. So the first thing that I did is I went to real estate school, okay? And I got my real estate license to sell real estate. That's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to sell real estate. I didn't want to be a realtor, but I got my license and that gave me some decent information, which then I ran into somebody who was a mortgage loan officer, okay? And typical me, I'm like, well, I don't just want to be the loan officer. I want to own the company. Okay, because so I did a lot of things when I was younger, some I'm not so proud of, but to make money. Okay, I was always an entrepreneur in spirit, right? So I didn't want to just be a loan officer, I wanted to own the company. So I started out after I got my real estate license, I became a loan officer. And trust me when I tell you this the guy that trained us, he was an alcoholic and never showed up. I mean, it was in the height of the refi boom in the late 80s. Okay, and um, there was like, I don't know, 200 people at the hotel waiting for this guy to show up for days, and he never did. Well, I, I had, I was a young kid, I had nowhere to go, nothing to do, and there was no, no internet back then, there was no cell phone, so we, we were calling the guy on a pay phone, like, what's going on? So needless to say, this guy never showed up, and 98%, 99% of the people that were in there left. Me and like two other people didn't. So I just learned on my own. I went out and started doing loans. I made a ton of mistakes, but lucky for me, I had some great help around me. One of those persons that helped me is now my wife. Now, she thought I was a dope and a moron and an idiot and everything else, but I didn't know anything. I didn't get trained. 
So I'm like walking around like a complete lost puppy dog. No clue what I'm doing. I think I know what I'm doing. Remember that. I think I know what I'm doing, but I'm clueless. The people that do know what I'm doing, they're calling me a dum-dum. They're like, what? I, I, are you kidding me? Right? So I'm, I'm getting hammered, but I stuck it out. I never quit, okay? I never quit. Guess what? Within six months, and this is embarrassing to say, and my wife, like, she just shakes her head. She left. I walked in after, like, I had like two solid months of just loans, big loans. Oh my God, so much business. I was doing business hand over fist. And um, they, they had a day for me. And it was so embarrassing. Like I'm, a, I'm an older guy. I'm like in my late 20s or mid 20s, right? And they, they got this dot matrix printer, Vinnie Craven day and balloons and cake. It's like a, for a two year old party. I was like, what is this? This is so embarrassing. I put my head down in shame. The girl that I was liking and hitting on, who's now my wife, she looked at me, right, because everybody had to be there. She looked at me with the devil's eyes and just turned around and walked right out. And I'm like, ah, I didn't do this. this. It was just an appreciation for what I did. And I was embarrassed by it. And the other people resented it. It was just horrible. Anyway, so within six months, I was doing a ton of business. Again, still, it was horrible. My work was... It's not from a lack of trying. It was a lack of knowledge, okay? And I'm out there trying. I'm beating down doors. I'm seeing realtors. I'm doing everything everybody told me to do. And I want you to think about this, okay? Because listen to me. I did everything everybody told me to do. I'm knocking down. Do I'm doing everything. And keep this in mind, what I'm telling you, because it's coming to play later, okay? I thought I was doing great. But the people that I gave my loans to, the processors, they're like, you're a dumb, dumb, dummy, dumb, dumb. What are you doing? You have no clue. I'm like, I don't know. Nobody trained me. I'm learning all this on my own. So luckily, an old man took me in and helped me out. A, a bank took me in and helped me out. Title company took me in and helped me out. And they taught me. They taught me. How do you spell taught? They taught me how to do it. Right now, I'm talking about the mortgage business now. But this applies to everything, okay? They taught me how to do it. So a bank took me in and said, hey, this is how you do an application. Hey, this is how you do a good faith. Hey, this is what this is about. Title company brought me in and said, hey, let me explain what title insurance is. You should be at every one of your closings. Don't be like all the others not showing up. Be there. You should take pride in your work. And I'm like, yeah, I'll be there every single one. I, I don't know what I'm doing. They're like, you sit in the corner until we teach you how to talk. I'm like, okay. And I sat in the corner twiddling my thumbs like, oh, I'm getting paid. Uh, okay. I had no idea what the hell I was doing, but I was trying. I was doing what they told me, but I got lucky because everybody was taking refis and nobody was helping the realtors, but that was me. I was going to help all the realtors. Okay. So now I got my real estate license. I didn't sell one property. That license just expired after it's five years. All right. I, I passed it with flying colors. Boom. I was in and out. Right. Because I loved it. I absorbed this shit like a sponge. Okay. So now I'm in. I'm a loan officer. Within one year, I'm a top guy around here. I'm getting, I'm getting recruited by everybody. Okay. Everybody wants me to go work for them. The company I worked for was a crap company. And everybody's trying to recruit me because what I was what they call a heavy hitter. I didn't know any of this stuff, okay? All I know is I'm out there seven days a week trying to do business, right? And I was good at it. So I was a people person. And within one year, I'm a top dog, okay? I'm doing a ton of business. And which means the people that I'm sending the loans are like, hey, who is this guy? Who's like, they started taking me out to lunch. They started schmoozing me. I'm like, oh, okay, right? So what did I do after a little bit over a year plus, right? I started my own company. Right? And I took the secretary that was there, I took her with me, okay? She was actually roommates with my wife at the time. So I, I took her. That didn't go over too well either. But, um, but I was in love with my wife at that time, even though I took the secretary that was her. They were roommates for a little while. Um, you know, so she worked for me and we started going. And then I hired loan officers 
And then I started buying, I started getting into, okay, how do I start building, buying my real estate? Okay, and that's what I started and I learned section eight properties. And that's where I started making my bones right there. Okay, now, but as you can see, I started right out of high school, no responsibilities, no bills, no anything, no kids, no what, nothing. I had not zero to take care of. Okay. So there you can see why I was successful because I had all the time in the world to do it, to learn it and everything else. Let's take a norm. Let's take the normal. Let's take my normal students. Okay. Like my regular everyday students that walk through the door. All right. Let's, let's take a look at them. All right. Let's erase the board first. And then we're going to take a look at my everyday students, people like it, like you, right? That are maybe watching me on this live stream or maybe watching it later on, maybe not live, but maybe watching it, you know, a couple days later from right now, right? Boy, how lucky did the Eagles get last night? Oh my gosh. Can't believe we pulled that game off. I don't know. My opinion was lousy play calling, but anyway. Okay. So now I'm going to talk to you about my everyday students. Okay. And I'm going, to leave, I'm going to leave a couple of them out of the mix, but I'm going to talk to you about my everyday students that come to me, okay? And this is an actual running theme that I see everywhere, okay? I see it everywhere. So let's talk about it, okay? We'll use a, we'll use a yellow. Uh, let's use orange for this one. Okay, let's do an orange marker. Okay. This is the everyday people. Okay, and why do they fail at real estate? Well, let's let's talk about it. Okay, your everyday person. So your everyday man and woman. Okay. Now, most of the people out there did not get into real estate at a young age, right? They just didn't. So now, what happened? Okay. Now they're working 40 to 60 hours a week. Okay. And they may or may not like their job. Most of them hate their job. Okay. And listen, I've got IT people. I've got, I've got, um, I've got plumbers, electricians. I've got UPS drivers. I've got, you name it. I've got it. Okay. Or I've had it. So I've got people from all walks of life and nurses, Okay, people that are working a lot, they're working a lot of hours. Now, they may be married. Or they may have a partner. Right? Or we'll just call it, you know, a significant other. Okay? They also may or may not have kids. So when you have kids, what do you have? You have school, right? You got to deal with. You've got their activities, Right? Their activities could be sports, right? School activities, right? Trips, all this other stuff. Okay? So now you're working 40 to 60 hours a week. You're married. You got kids. You're doing schoolwork. You're doing this, but you hate your job. And what do you do? Okay, what do you do? Well, you want to get into real estate because you see all these people on TV, right? Fake TV. And then you see it online and Instagram and YouTube. You see the gurus out there claiming how you can get rich quick. So what do you do? You hate your job. So you go out there and you go spend thousands of dollars on a guru, right? Who claims they're going to help you get rich. Okay. Now, every one of my students, except for a couple, have gone to a guru and spent anywhere from a thousand to to $40,000, right? This is how much they spent on gurus. And every single one of them failed. Why did they fail? Okay, here's why. If you start over here and then you realize how much time do you have to put into this, you don't have much time, okay? You have very little, okay? Now, on top of that, the gurus are going to teach you one program. Now, what do I mean by that, okay? Some of them teach wholesaling. 
Some of them teach subject to financing. Some teach lease purchase options, right? None of them teach what I teach. And I'm not going to say it here because I don't want to give away my best secret, okay? My students know. Every one of my students will tell you. So now you go, you spend thousands of dollars on, let's just say, we'll start with wholesaling because I have a couple of people that came in from wholesalers. I got a kid, young kid, his name's Joey. We call him Joey the Wholesaler because he come in and goes, I'm a wholesaler. I'm a wholesaler. Really? How many properties did you wholesale? None. Okay, well, <laughs> you're not a good wholesaler, right? Okay, uh, I got nurses, right? Follows Max Maxwell. Why? Wow, good looking dude, marketing, got a sharp tongue, right? These guys are marketing guys. I said, okay, let's put Max Maxwell up on the YouTube and let's hear what he says. And you know what they say? They say nothing. But you know what? To you, it sounds great. Why? Because just like me, I didn't know anything. And you don't know anything either. So when you come into a guy like me who's got 35 years experience owning a mortgage company, owning millions of dollars of properties, built multi-million dollar estates, owned a credit repair company, and my whole life has been involved in this, and you walk in, say, yeah, I'm a wholesaler. And I say, okay, right? I'm not impressed. Not impressed. And then I start asking you questions right up on the board what you know. Write up on the board what you learn from your guru. They can't write anything up there. Oh, I wrote an LLC. I uh, got to get an LLC. Really? Why do you need an LLC? You don't even have a property, right? Do you know how much different financing is when you, own, when you have your property in an LLC or a trust? How much more difficult it is to refinance them or do anything with that? Do you understand that? Did they tell you about that? How about get a property first before you worry about an LLC? If you're worried about getting sued, right? Get extra insurance, slip and fall. How many people out there know anybody that got sued for slip and fall and lost their house or lost millions of dollars or their insurance didn't cover it? How many people out there have ever had a tour that break at two o'clock in the morning, right? I never see hands get raised when, when we talk about this stuff. Okay, so now back to this, right? You got 40, 60 hours a week. You got kids, you got your partner. You go spend $10,000 to go learn subject to financing because the guy says how great it is. You get on the phone, you start calling all these leads, okay? And what happens? They all laugh at you. Click, 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 click. And you get frustrated. And you're like, this sucks. It never works. Goodbye. And there you go. You're a roadkill. Right? Why? Because, again, you don't know anything. Nobody taught it to you. You learned how to do one stupid thing that never barely works. Okay? And you get laughed at. Just like what happened to me. I didn't know anything. I thought I did. I didn't know Jack. And it's the same thing with the people out there that are teaching this stuff. It's the same thing. It's the same thing that happened to them. Let me tell you about most of the gurus out there. Okay. Now I want to make sure you understand this. They taught me how to do the business. Okay. That's going to come back. Right. So. Let me, let me erase that. Okay. Let me tell you about these gurus. All right. Let me tell you about these damn gurus. And I swear to you. I watch them because my students are like, yeah, this is my guy. I'm like, okay, this is your guy. Let's, let's see what your guy talks about. Let's put him up on the board. Let's see, right? Put up on the board what you learn. That's the first thing I say to them. What do you know? Put up on the board anything that you know. And you know what? They don't know anything. They don't know anything. So they spend all this money and they have no knowledge, right? Oh, I learned subject to. Okay, really? How far did you get with that? Right? Nowhere. Okay? Because you just, you can't build a house with just a hammer. And that's what this is like. Okay? So let me tell you about these gurus. The majority, and I'm talking the majority of the gurus. Now you'd be like, well, Vinny, you're one of them too. I'm a different, uh, listen, I'm a totally different scenario. Okay? Why am I a different scenario? Because my life took a turn for the worse. Okay? It, it, if my life didn't turn, I would never be teaching, but it did. And I was forced into stuff that I didn't want to have happen to me, but it did. So I'm different, but I will get into my life story. I, I'm doing a whole video on my life. So you understand my life. And let me just tell you this. Here's what most of these gurus do. I listen to them all the time. I go, I go and I listen to them in live. It's a joke. They all say the same identical story. It's the same story, just wrapped up in a different bow. Oh, I was an alcoholic. Oh, I was out down on my luck. Oh, I was broke poor until I met Mr. Wholesaler. 
And then all of a sudden I'm a multimillionaire and I'm going to teach it to you for just $10,000. And I'm like, oh my God, join the mastermind, get to the inner circle. It's all baloney. It's all marketing stuff that makes you trigger. It's pom pom motivation. Okay. To get you lathered up because you hate your job so much. You're willing to throw money at something to say, yeah, get me out of my job. I'll pay anything to get out of the job. But the only one who's getting rich are the gurus. Here's what they do. They did the same thing that you did. They went to some guru, learned wholesaling, subject to, right, lease purchases, and they go out and tried it and it failed, completely failed. Now they're like, oh shit, what are we going to do? We just spent all this money, all this money, and we got nothing in return. Oh, well, let's just take the paperwork and we'll go out there and we'll, be te and we'll teach the same stuff. We'll just charge less money than the last guy. It's exact, they're parrots. They do the same stuff. Oh, look at every single guru out there. They teach the same stuff, say the same stuff, have identical paperwork, okay? Because they all steal it from each other, right? Not one of them has actually been in the business, a guy like me, who's actually been there, done deals, structured deals, bought properties, who, whose wife's work has been involved. None of them. I'll put my resume up against anybody, and this is what they do. So again, going back, comparing, comparing why you failed to, to my life, okay, let's get into it, okay? To, to be successful, look at what you're up against. You've got no time, you may or may not have any money, okay, and you're learning one program. And then you re meet up a guy like me or a seller and we laugh at you. The same thing that happened to me, I, because I'm doing good, I thought I knew something. Just like you're learning this here. You're like, oh, yeah, look, I learned it. You know, learning it and doing it are two separate different things, okay? Just because you learn one program doesn't mean you're a real estate investor. Trust me when I tell you that. That's not how it works, okay? So to be successful, what happens? Number one, you really need a very good mentor or a teacher. If you want that, I'm your guy. Right? My school is only $59 a month. That's it. I try to make it for the everyday guy and gal. Right? Do I private student? Yes. I make a lot of money on my private students. So I'm not going to deny that. Okay? But I, I warn everybody, you don't need that. Come just be, start out as a regular student. Right? I don't push being a private student right away. I don't push that. I say be, just be a regular student. Learn before you go out there, make a fool of yourself, okay? Because that's what you're going to do. You need a good mentor. You need a good teacher. Then, oh, it's my fan. You need to learn the business. And I'm not talking about. about one program, okay, like a subject to or a wholesaling. I'm talking about learning the business, getting a solid foundation of knowledge. This takes time. Listen, there is no get rich quick in this business, okay? There's no get rich quick in this world. The only thing that's get rich quick is the lottery, and if you hit the lottery, that's it. So if you hit the lottery, yes, you can get rich quick. Other than that, just think about, think about this, okay? And I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you something. We're going to get back to this in a second, but just think about this. I had a student, we got our classes packed, okay? And one of the students, he's a new student, been there two, three weeks. Okay, now we got class every Monday night, okay? And we, we did it live in person, okay? And we live stream it, okay? So this person's in the class with, you know, 40 other people. And he says, hey, Vinny, just a question. Um, you know, now this guy already went to other gurus, goes to every meetup, right? Goes everywhere under the sun to try and, you know, get some different answer. So they're trying to find the elixir, trying to find that magic pill that's going to get them rich, okay? Trust me, if there was a magic pill out there to get you rich, I would already know it. And number two... It wouldn't be worth $10,000. It'd be worth millions of dollars. So let's get to the story, okay? So now, 
The guy says, when am I going to be able to buy property? When am, I going to, when am I going to start buying property? And I started laughing, right? I said, you know what? Let me answer, let me answer your question with a question. I said, just play along with me, okay? And he says, okay, I'll play along. I said, all right, let me ask you this. What do you do for a living? And he says, well, I'm an IT professional. I said, okay, IT professional. Are you good at it? You good at your IT, your job? He goes, yeah, I'm very good. I said, are you the best at your job? He says, yeah, I think I'm probably the best in the business. I said, okay, I'm glad you think that way. That's fantastic, right? I said, now, let me ask you this. How long have you been doing this IT business stuff? And he says, oh, I've been doing it for 25 years. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He's been doing it for like 35 years, 35 years. I said, okay, so you've been doing this stuff for 35 years, long time, right? Yeah. And now you're sick of it and you want to get out of it, right? Yep. I said, okay. I said, so you're the best at your job. You've been doing it for a long time. And how long did it take you to be this good? He goes, oh, a long time. I said, okay. Let me ask you another question. How long would it take you to teach me to be just as good as you or better in the IT business? I want you to teach me the IT business, but I want you to teach me to be better than you. I want to be better than you. How long is that going to take you? He goes, well, you'd have to be, you'd have to be by my side every day for two years. I said, okay, let me get it right. For me to be better than you in the IT business, I got to be by your side every day, eight hours a day for two years, and I'll be better than you, right? Yep. I said, okay. So now, what makes you, Mr. IT guy, think that you could come to my business, right? Come into my world and think that you're going to be better than me in a month or two months or three months because you spend, now he didn't spend any money with me. He spent just the $59, okay? But he spent thousands of dollars with other gurus. Right, because he went to boot camps and he's spewing out stuff that was like totally like meaningless. I'm like, what, what does that mean? I said, so what makes you think that you could go come come to my world that I've got thirty some odd years in it and be better than me in a couple of boot camps? How does that work? How does that work? Just think about this reasonably. Think about any job out there. You want to be a nurse? What do you got to do? You got to go to school and you got to learn and then you got to put it into practice. And you're not even good in the beginning. You get better and better as you go along. Okay, what about even just being a sports star, right? How many hours you're practicing? What about just doing whatever? Whatever you're doing in life, think about it. How long did it take you to be good at your job? Now, look, you could jump into real estate business right now. Go pay a guru $10,000, go learn subject to financing, and see how far it gets you. Good luck. See how far it gets you. It's not going to get you anywhere. Right? Because you know one thing. That's it. When somebody starts talking to you, a guy like me, who's got a lot of knowledge, and maybe I'm the seller, it's just going to throw you out. Listen, you, what you need to understand, there's two types of investors out there. Okay? There's two types of people. Column one, you have money, you have credit, and you have a job. Now, give me that person and I can make you rich pretty quick. Why? Because you have lots of options. You can do a lot of different investing. You're not just limited to one or two small things. Now you take this no column number two. You have no money, right? Or maybe you have bad credit. You may or may not have a job, right, is if you will say. Now, you're limited. Why? Because you got no money, you got crappy credit, right? You got to start doing other things like what? How about maybe you might need a partner or you got to do creative financing. So you're limited in your options. So obviously that's going to take you a lot longer. But if you got money, good job and a credit, You've got lots of options, and you can do lots of different things. But how long do you think it's going to take to learn all those different things? Now, some of it's easy, right? I could take a guy, and I did, okay? We just did two short sales, right? This guy, $10 million, sold his company. Vinny, help me out. I need to make money. I said, okay, you got $10 million. What do you want to do? 
Well, I was going to buy and hold. I said, buy and hold what? He was going to buy and hold townhomes. Townhomes? What, make $50 a month? Right? I said, you want to make real money? Let's do this. Let's do short sales and let's build homes. Okay. So what happened? We did two short sales and built a home. Right? Two short sales. Guess what? Two years later, sold, made a million and a half dollars. Built a house in one year, sold it, no problem. Made a couple hundred thousand. Why? Because he got options. He didn't know anything. He just hired me as a private, private teacher and I did everything for him. And in two years, he had over $2 million. What? But he had money, he had a job, and he had good credit. All the things that you need. And then he paid me. Okay? Now, you could be option number two, where you're just a simple $59 a month. And what's going to happen? Well, you're going to have to learn a lot of different things, right? Put it into practice. Because when you're out there talking to a seller, you need credibility, right? Let me just tell you this. If you have no credibility, you are done, right? Now, how do you get credibility? You get credibility from going to school and learning. That's how you get credibility. Well, where do you go to school? That's simple. The only school that's out there is Golden Triangle Academy. That's where you go to school. That's Golden Triangle Academy. That's it. Where you learn everything, not just one thing. You learn it all. Now, that takes a while. That's why this isn't get rich quick. Okay? And if you think you're just going to go out and pay somebody 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, I don't get it. Pick the number. Go learn a program and think it's going to change your life. You got another thing coming to you. You're just throwing that money out the window. Trust me when I tell you that. Now, there's exceptions to those rules, obviously. It's very slim. But if you are a realtor or you are a person that lives in the inner city, right? If you live in the inner cities somewhere, the inner city, I would just say, look, you can just learn wholesaling. Easy enough. You learn that and you could go make a couple thousand dollars per transaction. And if you do five of them a month and you make two grand off of each one, you make 10 grand, you make 120 grand a year. Now, is that, is that you know, millions of dollars? No, but is it, is it enough to make you happy? Is it enough to make you retire? Remember this, financial freedom isn't having millions of dollars in the bank. Trust me, I do this with every one of my private students. I say, okay, how much money do you need to retire? And I said, look, don't give me the $100 million, $50 million, Here's what I want to know. Before you say anything, here's what I want to know. We all want to get to this island of financial freedom, right? And this island, let's, let me just show you this, right? So we have this island, right, called financial freedom. And we all want to get there, okay? And it's a great island. I've been on that island. I got kicked out in 2008, but it was still a great island. We're all down here, starting down at the bottom of the barrel. We all want to get up to financial freedom, right? We all want to get there, right? But how are we going to get there? Well, our vehicle we chose is real estate. Okay? This is what we did. Now, to get to this island of financial freedom, you need a lot of knowledge. Or you need to have a lot, of, you got to have this and then hire somebody who knows how to do it, right? And who's going to help you along, Right? If you're in this over here where you don't have a lot of options, okay, now you can still take this, you can take this road, but you're over here in the slow, slow lane, right? But it's okay, because what? You're gaining knowledge and you're gaining your credibility. My job is to get you to not do this. Take these detours, right? What are these detours? These detours are right here. What's this? This is roadkill. When you get off on these detours and start trying to do something stupid, right, like subject to or this, that, and the other thing that doesn't fit in your model, you're going to become roadkill like most people do, okay? So what you need to do is you need to get knowledge, right? And then you got to work hard. But again, exceptions to the rule. What are the exceptions? Like I said, if you live in the inner city, let's just say the inner city of Philadelphia, okay? You could go down there, and I, I would tell you to do this, right? Say, look, just learn wholesaling. I will do 
the next couple of classes on wholesaling for you, okay? We will learn wholesaling inside and out. I'll give you all the contracts. I'll give you everything that you need to become a successful wholesaler, okay? You're in the inner city. That's where wholesaling works, okay? There or resort areas like my parents lived in Cape May. It worked down there. Why? Because my parents knew everybody that lived down there full time because they were full time. And I could I wasn't a wholesaler, but I could have said to my mom, hey, mom, dad, listen, any of your friends want to sell and it's a decent lot. Let me know because I'll buy cash from them and then I'll just turn around and sell to the builders. Right. I'll wholesale it to the builders as long as I know it's a good lot. Right. Tear down. I could do it there, too. So a resort area or the inner city. So now. If you're in that area, yes, that's an exception to the rule because you could go just do wholesale. You don't have to learn all the other models because that's all you're going to do. But if you don't live in the inner city, you live in the suburbs, wholesaling is not going to be for you, right? And subject two is not going to be for you. You've got to learn other methods. And I'm not going to name the best method out there because, you know, then all the gurus will be stealing it. So anyway, so on your road here, right, as if you become one of my students, you pay $59, we start learning all this stuff, and again, it's going to take a little bit of time. But you learn all of the different methods. So now when you go in front of a seller, you know what option to pull out of your toolbox, right? Because now you're trying to get here, right? So each one of these deals gives you credibility. You can talk to a seller. Because trust me, you go talk to a seller, and you don't have a clue what you're talking about, and, and you give answers that are just dumb, you're done. Forget it. You're, you're completely done with. Trust me, a confused mind always says no, right? Uh, I don't know. Nope, forget it. Confused mind always says no. So don't confuse them. Build your, build, you got to build your, your knowledge base, okay? By the way, um, the private student that I talked about, that puts you over here in the fast lane. That gets you there just a little bit faster. That's the only difference between the two, right? You'll still get to this island of financial freedom. It's just going to take a little bit longer. But... You're going to learn all of this stuff. So now you know why people fail at real estate. One, they don't have a lot of time, right? So they're put, they got 40 to 60 hours of working at their full-time job. They may or may not have a partner with them. They may or may not have kids. They got all these responsibilities. And then they go pay thousands of dollars to loan a program, right? Let's just say wholesaling. And if you're not in the inner city, you go try and build, buy a house wholesale and try to flip it. It doesn't work in the suburbs. You're like, what the hell is going on here, right? This sucks. Oh, I'm done. You get frustrated and you quit and you become roadkill, right? It's just the nature of the beast, okay? Now, if, again, if you have money and you got credit, you could do other things like regular buying and holding, okay? You can buy and hold. You could do short sales, right? You could buy and sell notes. You could do lots of different things, okay? You could do creative financing too if you want to, right? But a lot of this stuff doesn't work. All right, so now, if you want to succeed, right, well, then my point is, is that, you know, when you spend thousands of dollars and you only have an hour or two to work on it and you realize it doesn't work, you're going to become roadkill and quit. So what you need to do is you need a good mentor and a good teacher, somebody who knows all of this stuff, a guy like me. Yes, I'm patting myself on the back. Yes, I got the resume to back me up, right, because I've owned a mortgage company for 30 years. I've owned tons of properties. I bought them every way possible, Okay. And somebody that can hold your hand doing all this stuff. You're going to learn the business. The, learn real estate investing. You're going to learn the business. Not talking about just learning subject two or wholesaling, right? Or options. Talking about learning all of this stuff. Okay? Everybody that comes gets a binder like this. And inside this binder is full of stuff, full of good information. Then you just go to school. You come to class every Monday night. You ask a ton of questions. I run boot camps. I run this. And that'll give you some credibility. That's how you become successful. And it's not, it's not going to be easy unless you have, unless you have money. If, if you got money, you got job, and you got credit. Yes, you can, you can get out of your job way quicker. But if you don't, you're limited with your options, and it's going to take you time. So there you go. There's my quick little video on why people fail at real estate. They don't have a lot of time, and they trust these online gurus that teach them one thing that they know doesn't work. They're good marketers. Stay away from them. So if anybody's got any questions, feel free to put it down there. I'll be glad to answer any questions anybody ever has, right? So if you put it down there, you know, if you're not watching me live, that's fine. 
If you put any questions down there, I'll come back and I'll answer any question that you guys have, guys or girls have, and I'll answer anything. So I wish each and every one of you success in your career with real estate. I hope you do well, right? If there's anything you want to learn, let me know because I will be gladly teach it. All right. So thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. I'm just going to get ready to turn off my screen here. So um, I appreciate it. I hope you learned a little bit why people fail at real estate. Okay. You don't have a lot of time to dedicate to, towards it when you got, you know, a full-time job, family, kids, a lot of other stuff and learning one program just isn't going to help you. All right. So thanks for coming and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.